Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to go over the nine things only an INTJ will understand. Make sure to watch each one and find out if you can relate to that. If you're an INTJ, you've most likely felt misunderstood or different for a good part of your life. And this is mostly because there are some things that you seem to comprehend in a different way than most people. Architects make up only 2% of the population. And if you think you are an INTJ, dive deeper into your personality, learn what are the things only you can relate to, and determine how you can use them to increase your soft skills and achieve personal growth. Here are nine things only an INTJ will understand. Number one, they always look forward into the future. Most people focus on the present and make efforts to achieve their goals in the future, but INTJs work backwards. They envision a future goal, an ideal future, and then work backwards to figure out how they will achieve that goal. This trait is an INTJ strength as well as a potential weakness. Their introverted intuition is their most dominant function, which is why they'll often find that they're always seeing a future world and all the things that can be done. Seeing the perfect future is a terrific way to inspire yourself to work and, of course, it's fantastic because you can kind of predict what your future will be like. However, concentrating too much on the future means you lose touch with the present moment. Number 2. They have a tendency to become overstimulated When an INTJ is confronted with a large amount of data to process, it can be difficult. When it comes to architects, the most crucial function is their extroverted sensing SE, which is the least developed of their functions. There's a reason for this, and as a result, they become trapped inside their own heads. Architects often spend more time in their heads than in the real world. Loud noises, especially unexpected noises or sensory disturbances, can cause an INTJ to become overstimulated, and as a result, they can become very worried. Even the tiniest details can overload an architect. As a result, they must be very careful while dealing with a lot of things at once. Number 3. They can't stand the idea of being inefficient one of their biggest pet peeves of architects is being told to cheer up or smile more. But there's an even bigger one, when someone is inefficient. They've had it with it and can't take it any longer. You might get upset or think they're being unreasonable at times, but this isn't the case. It's just something they can't change. INTJs are extremely well-organized individuals who take pride in having everything or almost everything they need. When an INTJ is in charge of a group, they will have high expectations for everyone and want everyone to perform at their best. This may appear to be a positive trait, but it isn't always the case. They have the potential to create a very difficult situation. Laziness and chaos are one of their biggest pet peeves, and INTJs often set aside everything until the task is completed and dusted to perfection. It may appear as a desirable trait to some people, but it may be overwhelming to others because INTJs don't want to do work that is just good enough. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. They are not so robotic as others think INTJs are often referred to be cold, robotic types in INTJ memes, comics, and articles. Many people think of INTJs as villains in movies. However, the truth is that architects have tertiary introverted feeling FI. As a result, they have a strong set of personal values and ethics that they try to follow. These values normally emerge in their 20s or 30s, but architects tend to hold to them no matter what. INTJs probably feel more deeply than most realize, but they hold their sentiments and emotions close to the chest and don't readily reveal them with anyone who hasn't earned their complete trust. Number 5. They hate work on autopilot in almost any career, INTJs eventually reach a point where they've learned everything there is to know and are able to work on their own. INTJs enjoy getting to this point since it is efficient. Here's that word again. It also means they can produce high-quality work with less effort. Most INTJs secretly like taking shortcuts on mundane chores because there's something satisfying about resting on old laurels while others are chasing their tails to complete a task. At the same time, running on autopilot for an extended period of time is exhausting for architects. The INTJ's paradox is that they like the efficiency of knowing what they're doing, yet feel confined when they do it for too long. 
INTJs are always on the lookout for fresh ideas and learning opportunities, and they feel bored and restless when things are too simple. Number 6. They despise incompetency It's a common misconception that INTJs despise authority, although this isn't entirely accurate. Most architects have no qualms with obeying our superiors' orders, as long as they know what they're talking about. It's not authority that irritates them, it's people who are inept in their positions. Being in a position of power does not automatically earn someone respect from an INTJ. Respect must be gained, which is done through displaying one's competency in their work function. When someone isn't up to the task, INTJs get irritated, and because competency is more important to us than courtesy, they won't hold back when criticizing poor performance. As a result, INTJs may develop a reputation for being difficult to handle. Number 7. They rest well when being alone because INTJs have such active, analytical brains, it's easy for them to get disconnected from their surroundings. They may experience stress as a result of suppressing their weaker function, extroverted sensing (SE) for an extended period of time. Spending quiet time in a peaceful, natural setting is one method INTJs can overcome this while still allowing their minds to roam. Hiking alone in the woods, kayaking, canoeing, or fishing are all activities that many INTJs enjoy. Number 8. They always want to have a plan Some people like going with the flow, believing that whatever occurs will just happen. These are the types of people who would make bad INTJ's companions because architects are not people-pleasing personality type. Everything should be meticulously planned ahead of time according to the vision of an INTJ's. The word spontaneous rarely exists. INTJs will usually make reservations for a backup plan in the event that something goes wrong or if their original strategy fails. A sudden disruption may cause them to become extremely irritated and frustrated, and if others want to deal with INTJs, they need to make sure the plan is being made ahead of time. Number 9. They crave for being independent Because INTJs are fiercely autonomous, they require respect from others around them. Without that regard, the INTJ is prone to feel frustrated and begin to push others away. They want to be able to fulfill their goals with a sense of personal pride. Therefore, their sense of independence is a big part of who they are. While INTJs desire strong relationships and are devoted to their loved ones, they require their own space. INTJs make decisions based on logic and facts, and they don't want emotional connections to influence them. They require uninterrupted time to make decisions on their own terms. While the INTJ can benefit from asking for help on occasion, it is not something they desire to do on a regular basis. For the INTJ, independence means being able to take care of themselves and make decisions without having to rely on others. This is what keeps their minds clear and their concentration in the right place. This is one of the things that only an INTJ will understand. These videos will be really helpful for you.